after show with Jennifer Lawrence. Red Sparrow hits theaters tomorrow. Um, let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, I'm Colleen from Portland, Oregon, and I. Hi, Andy. Hey. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. 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 I love you both. I have a, hi. I have a question for Jennifer. Okay. So, what would what would you say um, is the biggest housewives critique that you sent to Andy, and did he use it? The biggest oh, critique. a critique about the yeah. work. Um. I I feel bad because these are like people, um, but like, theoretically, um, I don't know. I mean, I send him like who's boring me, who to get rid of. But normally, I kind of echo America. Like they normally go. She loves to tell me when she's bored. Yeah, yes. that's my favorite. We don't like to bore J Law. Like bore Let's go to Darla from Iowa. Hey, Darla, what's your question for J Law? Love you, Andy, Thanks. and I'm a huge oh, fan okay. of Jennifer. And I wanted to find out, now that you and Oprah are friends, what did you think about her Golden Globe speech and also if she ran for president? Um, I thought her Golden Globe speech was her. It was inspiring. It was it was beautiful. It made me get I was at home, and I was just chat like, whoa. She's just a pillar of strength and inspiration. Um, I don't know about her running for president. I, I don't know about anybody running for president. I'm so, I have right. PTSD from presidents. Dana O wants to know, um, I know you're uh, friends of the Kardashians. Did you know Kylie was pregnant, 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 and have you met Stormy or Chicago? Um, I did know Kylie was pregnant, and um, I, I have not met any of the babies now. Back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is uh, Jeff from Detroit. Hey, Jeff, what's your question? Uh, my question is, uh, given the major feud, were you being shady when you name dropped Taylor Swift in your interview with Kim Kardashian? And did uh, Taylor Swift ever approach you about being in her squad? Have you been approached by T Swift to be in her squad? I have not. But okay. what did I throw shade he, and he at? No, he said, given their feud, were you being shady by oh, you mentioned no, Taylor Swift? No, it just Swift? fell out of my right. mouth. I, right. didn't, I didn't make all the connections a million times before I said something. I don't know if that shocks people. Did you have fun um, guest hosting for Kimmel that I had time? You were so really good. Much fun. I was so nervous that I don't think yeah. I. Thank you. I was so nervous that I feel like I didn't enjoy it like in the moment, but everybody says I did good, so I just take that and that makes me happy. <laughs> um, back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Howdy, WWHL Club. My name is Patty. I'm from Denver. Hey, Patty, Hi. what's your question? I would love to know the most honorous thing I got on my mind, and that is who is the most famous person in your phone, and can you call them right now? Uh, who That's is the most so famous sweet. person in your phone? Um, you say? Well, Oprah, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oprah. There you go. Yeah. Do you have a texting relationship with Oprah? I don't go as far as to assume that I may have a texting conversation with right, Oprah. Right. That's why I send her mental texts. You send her mental yes. texts, which are good because then yeah. they just, yeah. I don't, she's running the world. Yes. To bother her. Um, I loved uh, the 60 Minutes piece because it was about uh, your acting and how you do what you do and how great you are at what you do. Is there a role that is your favorite role, Red Sparrow, apart? Um, I think probably Rosalind from American Hustle. I just uh -huh. felt like that was like a part of me that needed to come out, probably from reality television, but something, that character was like burning to come out. You also said on 60 Minutes, um, you dropped out of school when you were how old? 14. And so how did you get your parents to go along with that? Well, I slowly tricked them. Um, at first it was like, oh, it's just gonna be until, you know, here. And uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot of details. What I right. can promise you is that my parents thought they were doing the right thing. Obvious, yeah. And I was very conniving. <laughs> wow. I'll take the bullet. <laughs> did you, was that something that you, um, the, you know, everyone your age was in school. Was that hard for you being? I didn't really have friends until this is going to sound so sad and pathetic until I met Laura when I was 17. Like, I left school and, and I met Laura at a party and she, like, asked me for my number and I just kind of, like, looked at her and I was like, you want to be my friend? Oh. And so I had just kind of, like, 
not had that part of my life for like Were you in years. LA at that point? I was in New York until I was like 16 and then I went to LA and then a year later I made my first friend Laura. Wow. That's very <laughs> sweet. Aww. That's the story like of Laura. Like adult, <laughs> late adult friend. Right. I had friends when I was, you know, right. I was a... uh, I want to thank Jennifer Lawrence. The movie is Red Sparrow. It's in theaters tomorrow. For more, click around BarbaraTV.com. Thanks, Luann and Bethany. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.